Hello Katie and MyNaturalHappiness.com. How are you? I hope you're well. Oh, welcome to your weekly message of love. If you're new here, welcome. Each week I pop out a weekly message of love with a couple of cards for the week and some themes. And every week is different. Some weeks I ramble on about nothing and other weeks are really insightful. So, you know, we'll see how we go on today. Um, so I hope you're well. I hope you've had a magical time. For me, it was May Day, Beltane, and it was um, a time where lots of maypole dancing happens on the 1st of May. And I maypole danced. I was very bar humbug about it. The reason that I do what I do, the reason I help other people find their inner happiness and tune into them and help them shed the shackles of the past that are getting in the way of them just shining their lights in this world is because I have to do the work too. <laughs> I have to do the work too. Um, and it's past life and, and this life that I help with. Uh, but yeah, I have to do the work too. And so... Um, years and years and years and years and years ago, I was honoured to be a, one of a group of six incredible spiritual women of spirit years and years ago. And uh, we created a couple of beautiful traditions that are still going on now in Avery, which is so wonderful. And I think there was just six, you know, six of us. And we had a magical, magical few years together where we honoured the wheel of the year and at May Day we brought in maypole dancing in Avebury because one of the ladies who was part of it happened to be at work and there was a spare maypole going of course and so um yeah it was really powerful and I that and it's so wonderful it's still going on I haven't maypole danced for many many years and I was feeling very bar humbug about it and I, I think I'm sharing this with you in case you're feeling very bar humbug about anything in your life, know that it, it's just part of the process sometimes. It's part of the process sometimes. Because I was sat there, you know, I'm going to step into my crone hood. I've got my grey hair now. I'm not a maiden that's going to go dancing around the maypole time. I did my time there. And, um, and then a couple of dear friends were like, no, you're coming. You live close now. You are coming. <laughs> so they dragged me there. All right, I'm not maypole dancing. Well, sure enough, I ended up maypole dancing. And it was so much fun and so wonderful and reignited something so magical in my heart. It was so beautiful. It was so beautiful. Sometimes when you drag yourself to places, you kind of go, oh, why did I do that? But this time I was like, yes, I did it. And it's so perfect because in the Shine Your Light Goddess, Shine Your Light circle, each month we're working with a different goddess to help bring some spark back into our life and help just you know give us an extra layer of love and fun this year as well as deep soul reflective um, work depending on the, which month we're working on these are on top of the eight core modules to help you shed the shackles both of the past both this life and previous lives and um anyway so this in may we we are working with the goddess of dance to bring some dance and fun and vitality back into our lives or to continue on with that if we're already there reigniting our love for dance so it was so perfect i think the reason i'm sharing this with you is twofold one to say if you feel like you need to be dragged places sometimes that's okay <laughs> I think there's a lot of that going on and also we're working with the goddess of dance within the shine your light goddess and I suppose I'm extending the invitation in to the fact that you know okay if you want to listen to the meditation to work with the goddess of dance you'll need to join the boot camp and the circle but perhaps you can weave some dance in perhaps there's some dancing that you can do to bring some joy into your heart so that's why I'm sharing that so there you go. That was my off topic, on topic thing. As always, I pulled out a card for you for watching this video because you are utterly amazing and wonderful. And I love you for watching these videos. I've been doing this, these videos for a few years now and I'm still so grateful and honoured when people choose to spend a few minutes with me. So this month we have Archangel Haniel. This month, this week, Archangel Haniel. These are from Archangel Messages for a New Earth by Ashling Mooney, take the leap, you are divinely protected. Archangel 
Archangel Haniel says, you are the king's daughter. You have royal blood flowing through your veins. You are completely protected and safe. It is time for you to realise how incredibly powerful you are. While it's OK to have a backup plan to make sure that you're financially safe before you take big leaps in life, your angels are also asking you to recognise that you are a powerful manifester. Your energy right now is calling in whatever you need in your life. Spiritual business, work, relationship wise, any area of your life or relationships. Your energy right now is calling in whatever you need in life. Imagine that when you walk into any room, that walking beside you are many angels. You are the queen of angels and surrounding you are, is a team of angels, like a queen's entourage. You bring so many blessings with you into every situation you go into. And your presence is protective to those around you, excuse me, <coughs> and also deeply healing. There are healing energies and um, angels in your very energy. This is a reminder to you of how protected, safe and connected you are. Everything is going to be fine. Stand in your power. You are safe. Bring your healing presence and angel entourage out with you into the world today. You take the leap. You are divinely protected. And how beautiful is this card? I love these cards the images take the leap you're divinely uh, protected this also really works because Beltane is such a wonderful fire festival and so to have the red colors of fire flowing through is amazing so that's perfect for this time of year bringing the sun and the love and the light back into the world so perfect so that's your first card for watching this video your second card is from my deck um if you go onto my website you can get free seven day electronic version of these where you can pick it a card and then listen to a meditation attached to each card it's really beautiful um they were all channeled all the cards were channeled so from my deck of cards you have soul soul your soul is asking you to listen your soul is asking you to listen to listen to the inner calm that it was is within you have been on the move so much lately and you've been so busy lately your soul is asking you to listen to what you really want to do right now. Your soul is asking you to listen. Your soul is asking you to quiet in your mind and listen, breathe and listen and simply be. And that's really beautiful. And I think taking um, time to listen to what your inner calling is saying. Sometimes we can be so busy, we go round round circles. We can be so busy just doing, doing, doing. Even if we just take three minutes to stand at the back door and listen to the birds and listen to what's going on around us in, in the outside world, sometimes we can really start to receive answers to our, our questions ourselves. And I think that's something I try and do is to help people listen to their angels, listen to their guides and to listen to to what their soul is asking them to do rather than receiving advice from everybody else sometimes you just got to trust your own intuition and listen to what is being asked i've been doing a lot of that lately because i've moved i've been making big changes in my life um and i've been doing a lot of listening and it's really powerful when you just listen to what you want rather than what everybody else expects you to want so that's your second card for the week in terms of announcements shine your light goddess shine your light boot camp the uh and the circle our monthly call is friday the third of may so come along to that avery in person goddess retreat which is going to be so magical every year is so magical it's not till november plenty of time to plan but what i've done is um lots of people are struggling right now with a cost of living crisis i recognize that and honor that and hold, hold you in your thoughts uh, in my thoughts if you are struggling as well and so what i've done is i've added in a four month four payment plan um so that's only available between now and the 13th of may to step into that uh because you've got to pay before we get here. but four months so instead so it'd be um 
four payments of £25 to just try and make it a little bit easier. So you still get the early bird price. It doesn't cost you any more. You just get to spread the payments over a few more months. So if that helps, then I hope it helps you step into the plan place with us. And what I will say is that it seems November seems a long time away. I can promise you that having something to look forward to when the clocks go back is so powerful. <laughs> having something to look forward to when it all gets a bit dark outside is really wonderful um so hopefully that makes it easier for you to step into the place and space with us and know that you have got a day planned for you at the end of the year just before it gets really busy for christmas and you get some time to recharge your batteries um it's held in Avebury at the hen shop, the beautiful, beautiful hen shop in Avebury. And I'm so looking forward to seeing you there. Right, I'm going to sign off now and give you a big, huge hug of love. Any questions, just drop me an email. So much love, Kate, mynaturalhappiness.com. Have a magical, magical week. Lots of love.